Prince or Ninja Princess or were you just born a princess? <laughs> you look like you were born a princess. Do you want Jasmine to sign your book? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, thank you so much. stickier from the syrup right yeah yeah breakfast is really good good time <sighs> okay but now we have to get on with our Disney day so um, I will see you in the Disney vlog but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye okay hello I just wanted to pop on to kind of summarize the whole breakfast dining experience because as I was editing the video, I realized I didn't really get a chance to talk about it, and I just wanted to highlight a few of the things that I felt were important to note if, you know, other people were considering doing this experience. So first of all, it is a unique experience in the terms that it is one of the only ways, well not only, but one of the very few ways to get inside of Cinderella's Castle at Disney World. So that is something to consider, right? If you, if that's something you want to do, if you want to have an experience inside, that is one of the ways to do it. However, it is, you know, it's expensive because on the one hand, you need to have admission into the parks, right? So you need a park ticket or you need to have already an annual pass or something. You have to, you have to get into the park. So that's, you know, one expense. The second expense is the actual price per person is quite expensive for what you get. So what I mean by that, so the pricing is 60, $69 for an adult 
plus tax and gratuity and then $42 for each kid, each child ages three to nine plus tax and gratuity. And what that includes is you get a pastry plate, you get an entree, and then um, you can get some like beverages. Um, it's so it's not it's not like a full like three course meal so like you don't even get like a dessert um or like something at the end so that's you know kind of a bummer like you don't really get good value for the price that you're paying so that's on the one hand the other thing that i felt that i didn't actually know about that i felt was kind of like not fair <laughs> in a sense um so when you first go into the castle before you actually go upstairs to the restaurant you meet cinderella because it's cinderella's royal table right and you get a photo with cinderella however that photo is not included in the price of your meal so you still need to purchase um what is it called like memory maker no i don't i don't remember what it's called because we didn't do it um but i was very surprised to find out that the photo was not included with your meal so that was kind of a bummer because it's not like cinderella goes upstairs um you only meet cinderella when you come in so you meet other princesses upstairs when you're eating but you don't get to meet cinderella except at the entry point so kind of a bummer yeah so i don't know um and then the other i felt like downside was you only got to meet out um, minus Cinderella, you only got to meet four princesses during the breakfast. So I don't know if it's different for like dinner or whatever, but it was kind of a bummer because I have already done the princess breakfast adventures over at Disneyland, which is a far, far better value, even though I do believe, I, uh, memory, my memory does not serve me. I'll like put it up here if I can remember. Um, it is more expensive, but the overall experience and value that you get at the Disneyland one is so much better. So if I ever had to choose, I would 100% choose the Disneyland experience if I could. Um, one, because you don't need entry into the park. It is held at the Grand Californian at the Napa Rose restaurants. You don't need entry into the park, so that's an expense taken away. Um, any photo that is taken because you do get a photo with a princess um when i went it was tiana i don't know if that changes or not but you know that was included that was just you you got that photo included with your meal and the style of the breakfast was you got a three course you got a pastry basket you got your meal which was a buffet actually um, a really very, very nice buffet, by the way. Um, and you got a dessert platter. So that was really, really nice. And you got to meet, I think it was seven, or maybe it was eight princesses. It was seven or eight princesses. Um, and it was kind of nice because it, as opposed to them coming to like your table, you could go at like your leisure to go meet them. Um, you know, granted that they were still there during the breakfast time, of course, but I don't know. So I just felt like it was, it was a little bit of a down, a downer, just like considering the price and what you got for it. Um, and then also like the food was, the food was fine. Like the food was good. It was like breakfast food. Um, I had a bite of like my, my husband's quiche that he got like with his meal and it was actually very good. And I just got like standard Mickey waffles and you know, Mickey waffles are always great. It was just, um, and then, you know, so the food was fine. Um, I don't know if the lunch or dinner option, if the food is better, because maybe like more like fine dining, like higher quality. Um, I don't know about that, but I'm just speaking to the breakfast. And then also it was very nice that they gave out little gifts, like a little wishing star, and you could choose if you wanted a wand or a sword. And it was for everybody. It wasn't just like for the kids, like even if you wanted one for the adults. So we, you know, we took advantage and we got one for everybody. So overall it was a nice experience something that I, i'd always wanted to try so i'm glad we did it would i do it again probably not honestly unless it was like something my daughter um really really wanted to do when she's older or something but yeah honestly there's i think there are better experiences that are worth spending your money on than the breakfast at cinderella's royal table and yeah so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless it's like a true like bucket list thing to do that you want to experience because it was a good experience it was not bad by any means it just didn't feel worth it 
that's that's really the bottom line anyway that's all I wanted to say before I, you know, wrapped up this little video, but I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed going through the experience with us because we did really have a good time. We did. So, um, with that being said, I am going to end this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for real this time. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever?